If you were to host a music festival, where would it be held and who would you have as your main and support acts? It would be held at the Messiah Stadium in Valencia. Mm -hmm. Purely because I remember going to see Metallica in Spain and the crowd were incredible. I'm a huge festival person. Uh, I love festivals. In fact, my stag do or bachelor party was to a festival here in the UK at the Isle of Wight. So I would say my my perfect festival would have to be on an island somewhere. Everyone was in the same vibe when they're waiting to get the ferry. There's a great atmosphere on board. And you have to camp. This is a must. Part of the festival experience I find is camping. Everyone was very grumpy, including the other person on this podcast when i insisted that we did what i used to do for for <laughs> festivals 10 years prior all the guys that I used to go to festivals with were there and they completely agreed so we you set up in like a, a big round circle there was about 10 tents and then we have the campfire in the middle we had a barbecue going on everybody just sitting around random people will just come and join you sit hang out have a few drinks and just have a good time i know who i'd have headlining okay have our friend Ed Sheeran and who's supporting Ed Sheeran uh it'll kind of be well I say support slash co-headlining mm -hmm. I'd have I'd have the foos Foo Fighters my one supporting I would have the band Steel Panther because very funny I remember, they're a very <laughs> funny but very good band because it is it, again part of the whole festival thing is just to have a fun time so definitely that. Remember when they were at Download and they got all those women to go on stage and it nearly collapsed. Broke the stage, yeah. That was <laughs> and the, the headliner I would go with would be Dirk Bentley. Because I like my country music and he puts on an excellent show. So I'll go with Dirk Bentley. Slash Guns N' Roses. I cannot wait to go back to festivals again. And also what's cool is what I've noticed since I first started going to nowadays. There's a lot more people making the effort to tidy up after themselves yeah. after festivals as well. When you look back yeah. at what it was like 15 like years a ago. Dump. It was like a, dump, a dump. But now a lot of people are, are really looking after the, the environment and all that kind of thing. So that's great. And also, guys, can I just say, if you are listening to this with someone else, maybe hit pause right now and come up with your own festival ideas where it would be and who would you have playing with different people who you're with. You've got to come up with the name yeah. of it as well, name of the festival. Phelps Fest. Well, I was going to go with a normal festival. Isn't normal, so it's not normal. Like, have it written really long way out. How long would that T-shirt be? Exactly, you make more money, don't you? <laughs> like all over the place. <laughs> so a festival T-shirt costs like 100 quid, so get your money's worth all right. What festival are you going to? 100 quid? London.